Oh, this is cool. The LED tape lights came for the Titanic. I've got the adapter cords, the pin connectors, and here the switching power supply. 24 volt. Well, it turns out I did have to cut the wires because uh, <clears throat> the way the thing runs in the model. So we're just gonna hot glue this here, trim these wires, couple them and then hook them to the thing, solder them. Fortunately the manufacturers made shortening these wires easy because the dual strand wire, one has a little dash mark it's either the ground or the positive, I don't know which. So that helps you make sure that you hook the mold the right way. Put the two dash wires together, hook it to the dash wire on the socket. Put the two black wires together, hook it to the black wire on the socket. Warm up your soldering iron. Put a little solder on these. I don't know if you've ever soldered, but you just get it hot. Get the iron hot and melt the stuff onto the exposed wires and then cover the exposed wires with heat, heat shrinks shrink. fun stuff really it's these little sleeves of um, plastic you put over the wire um, and then you put a heat source if you have a heat gun use that I just use lighter it works and they shrink up and they get all snug on the wires insulate the wires keep them from shorting out not that they're ever going to come in contact with anything underneath the base of this model but it's always good to cover your wires so I'll just take our hot glue and um, put a little glue here and hold it in place Oh yeah, I mean, any vaccine is a good vaccine, so I'll be crazy, I guess, it doesn't really matter. Like I say, they're going to be gone anyway. Then I went ahead and put a little hot glue on the outside of the socket, too, just to totally locate it. Now, in the model, the strips come with these 3M self-adhesive things, but I don't really trust them. I mean, over time, they might dry out in another decade or so. So I'm just going to take my... Uh, my E6000 and put a little dab underneath each end to kind of permanently locate the strips into the model so that nothing dries out and moves around. Hey, okay, we got our E6000 on the ends of the light strips. That should keep it from wiggling around. That'll cure in a few hours. Full cure in a day. This one's a little weird. I might put a piece of tape over it just to hold it down. So there's the finished installed LED lighting. Put some foil tape over the wires and ends to hold the glue in position till it cures. It's plenty bright. Yeah, that ought to do it. Well, there it is. Whatever. It's a pretty frustrating model to work with. The decks are warped and they're ill-fitting, they don't fit in the hull right. It never did. When I put it together the first time it was always mismatched corners and light gaps. And But I mean it is what it is. It's just a big plastic boat with lights. Yay! I did get all the davits fixed and I, I repainted the boat covers the proper color. I looked up it's it's like the Battlestar Galactica gray so I had some of that left over and I did all those. I still need to um, drill a couple more holes here and make some more floral wire davits for the tiny little lifeboats that hang off the edge. And then of course all this god awful rigging has to be redone. That was just an awful experience as I recall too. Taking thread and tying it around the things. I don't know what to do with the masts because both of them are damaged. It's just, you know, frustration after frustration. And then ultimately, who cares? What is it? It's just a stupid hunk of plastic that sits on a shelf and gets dirty. But, yeah, there. Lit up. Woohoo!